Do you remember about a month ago where I made my top 25, not 25, but top 20 tips for how to be a Ninjago YouTuber? Well, I'm going to add five more, so in a sense, it is 25 tips, um, because these ones I didn't think about when I first made the original video, but when I looked back on it, I thought, hey, there, there's some more tips, and I thought about five more. So here are five more tips from me to you on how to be a Ninjago YouTuber. Tip officially number 21, even though it's the first one of this video, and that is to simply think. Think about your ideas. Think about your ideas. It's kind of similar to a tip that I made in the last video called Know What You Want to Make, but that's basically about what the type of content you want to do. Now, this is more specifically towards the ideas. Think about the ideas, especially if you have a lot of time to think, like, for example, the afternoons or the evenings. That's basically your winding down time, your time where you can basically relax. But why not use some of that time to think about what, your, what some of your ideas could be? Because once you start to set up what type of content you want to do, you have to think about how to go with it, you know? Go around it, and essentially, how to go with it. So you think about, about some ideas. And especially if you have a lot of time like me, where you have a lot of time and you just think. Where you have a lot of time to think, that's a good sign because you could think of a lot of ideas. Especially in weird periods, like you could think of some during like sleep or, or even while taking a bath or a shower. Um, it really doesn't matter. As long as you think of the idea, you better make sure it stays in your head and make sure it stays in your head so that you could follow this next tip. Following from the last tip, once you've fully thought, out, uh, thoughtly thought out about what you want to do for an idea, you make sure you write it down. Because even though we are in the computer age, we still have to write stuff stuff down just so we can remember it because not all of us have really good memories heck even i have a pretty good short-term memory and sometimes i even forget some ideas um make sure you write them down so that you know you can store them for later you don't have to necessarily do that idea at that specific moment but keep in mind it's just to keep in mind in case if you know have one of those days where you just can't think of anything like oh no I don't know what to do so you might as well look at your old ideas that you already written down you'd be like oh I could just do that Boom, plain and simple so that you don't have to worry about you don't have to worry about not having no ideas because those days are just going to happen and it kind of falls in line with the previous tip that I mentioned in the previous video, which was plan ahead. That, that's those are the double two tips that that work together as one. Because if you write stuff ideas down, you plan ahead, and therefore you can make videos like months in advance, and so you don't have to worry about you know days where you're just like, oh, I don't know what to do. Ugh. Or stays where you're not feeling too well, like you're sick or you're just upset, depressed or whatnot. You can write those ideas down and you don't have to worry about, you know, think of on the spot, essentially. Once you have um, an idea, and if it involves you talking, find a regular talking pace. Because no one is going to want to watch a video that goes... No one's going to want to watch that. <laughs> My friend Overlord1469, I had to tell him, dude, slow down. This ain't a race. You're not Sonic the Hedgehog, all right? It's not a race. Take your time. It's not a race. And you want to find that natural rhythm. And you also don't want to talk too slow because then it just drags out like, Hey, everyone, here's what I'm going to talk about today. Yeah, that it sounds incredibly boring. And speaking too quick is going to be just going to overwhelm the viewer and be like, whoa, slow down. So you want to find that regular talking pace and just kind of keep around that pace, maybe slightly make it faster or slightly um, slower, depending on, you know, how you're speaking. And obviously there's going to have some gaps where you may not be able to speak. Um, 
and that's perfectly fine because as humans you know we always have those gaps in our memory where we're just like uh um you know we, like i keep doing that's perfectly okay a lot of people think that is not not a good thing as humans i actually promote it because that's that's part of who you are no one can talk perfectly without putting it one of those um uh or you know words no one could do that even if you're reading from a script sometimes it just happens that's just who we are now let's move on to the actual layout of your youtube channel itself let's start out with just think of a good youtube name it doesn't have to be super good in because any YouTube name could work, because the name doesn't really matter all that much. I mean, for example, some of the names that I find on YouTube are incredibly s silly, but they still have, like, great amounts of subscribers. Like, Daily Road Lord. Like, that none, n nothing within that name says Ninjago. And even Daily himself said that he only got that name because he was a big Roblox player. And he used to call it just Rolord, but he couldn't do that because someone took that name. So the, the computer suggested, why not add Daily? And it just put Daily Rolord. That's how Daily Rolord came to be. Um, he like I think he said that multiple times in Q and A's, I believe. And if you just ask him, he'll say that exact same thing. So as long as your YouTube name sounds good to you, it really doesn't matter what other people think of your name, because do what you do what you want. It's your channel, and you do what you want to do. And my final tip for now, I might think of some more later, but I doubt it because I don't want to keep doing these tip videos. So this might be my final tip of the whole little two-parter, and that is going back to the you know the layout of your YouTube channel, and that is have a good YouTube banner and logo having a good logo and having a good um banner is really helpful especially considering some people might like your banners and stuff now with the logos it's really not that big of a deal because with desktop and phones it looks rather the same as it's just the circle um as long as you can fit it within that circle mostly like your name and who you are like just think of a cool logo put your name on it so people know who you are and if it looks good to you it's fine then we have the banner which is a little more trickier because um, the banners work differently on different devices like if you use one of those smart TVs it will show the entire banner whereas if you only use desktop it shows like here and phones only show like this much so just in case, go with what the least amount of. So, like, for example, you want to show what the the smallest amount of banners, and in this case, your phones, oh, my phone's charging over there, um, can see. So, I was thinking about actually improving my banner, because when I looked at my banner, it looks good, but on my phone, it looks pretty bad, honestly. I want it to look good on all devices where it looks good on both your phone, your desktop, and if you use smart TVs, you use smart TV. Um, I want it to look good on all three devices so it looks really good. Um, hopefully, whatever banner you decide to use, again, it's your choice, your channel, your choice. Hopefully, it fits both your phone and your desktop because I don't know how many people use smart TVs. And if you have a smart TV, it fits there. But anyways, those are five more tips on how to be a Ninjago YouTuber. Um, along with the previous video, do you, do you think my little tip, do you think my all 25 tips that I offered are any good or any use? Let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red subscribe button and click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.